I don't smoke. I try to protect my lungs. I had a little scare in Alaska this summer. I was working up there, and it's beautiful up there, just like the nature. It's amazing. I went on a hike, and after about 15 minutes, my, I was like wheezing, and I couldn't get it. Then I realized it's because I've lived in L.A. so long, my lungs can't handle all the fresh air in the air up there. I said, what do you call this, oxygen? Oh, man. <sighs> I had to go suck a tailpipe just to feel normal. Fire it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah, right there. Oh, just like home. There you go. <laughs> Alaska's a wild place, man. It's an interesting kind of person that moves up there. You know who moves to Alaska? People who think Idaho is too diverse. That's who moves up. <laughs> I couldn't handle that fast-paced, go-go Montana lifestyle anymore. Had to, had to get away. Got to have the salmon when you're up there. They don't give you a choice. They're just jamming it down your throat every five minutes. <laughs> have some salmon. Don't forget to try some salmon. Take some home with you. Have some salmon. Like, relax. I'm not a grizzly. Back off. <laughs> Been here a week. I had it 80 different ways. Grilled, fried, poached, spread on a bagel, smoked. I mean, I smoked it just for something different. Anything. <laughs> And every restaurant up there pushes it on you like you can't get it at the next restaurant and the next one after that. And our special today is a salmon. Ooh, you don't say. <laughs> don't tell me, was it the special the last 364 days too? Did you fly it in special or did you just, you know, go outside and bend over in a puddle and pick one up? <laughs> I tripped over three salmon walking in this place. <laughs> it's good, but it's not special up here. You know what's a special up here? A decent burrito. Get on that. Why don't you... but I was up in Alaska working. I was up in uh, Canada a lot this summer. I love Canada. It's a beautiful place. Nicest people in the world. I was uh, in the Vancouver airport. I asked a guy, a Canadian guy, to look over my bags while I went to the bathroom. Came back. He had ironed my shirts. <laughs> Nicest people. Why aren't they nice? I mean, my gosh, nobody hates them. That's why they're so nice around the world. That Canadian passport is like a get out of jail free card. I asked the guy, why do you put Canadian flags all over everything you own? We don't want people to think we're Americans. <laughs> oh, man. But I get it, you know. Kidnappers will let you go if they find out you're Canadian. <laughs> Send a ransom for the American. Ah, oh, bad news, boss. Turns out he's Canadian. What? Uh, let him go. <laughs> Can't kidnap a Canadian? We're terrorists. We're not animals. <laughs> What's the world gonna say? <laughs> Besides, what do we get for him? Loonies, Tonies, syrup, helmets? <laughs> Hockey sticks? Who cares? <laughs> I love going up there. Canadians making me care about curling every four years in the Olympics. <laughs> Seen this crazy sport? Shuffleboard on ice with rocks and brooms. What the heck am I watching? <laughs> and yet after 10 minutes, every time I'm shouting at the TV, sweep it, sweep it, oh, come on. <laughs> this guy sweeps like my grandmother. <laughs> Sport came from Scotland. I don't know how bored they were around that ice fishing hole. <laughs> Fergus, slide me that rock, eh? <laughs> There's too much snow. Well, get the brooms, lad. <laughs> We gotta send this to a new country. <laughs> hey, did you know Drive Bar Comedy has their own app? Seriously, download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my whole special.